I'm joined here today by Forest Preserve District of Cook County General Superintendent Arnold Randall and Commissioner Jeff Tobolsky. The Cermak Family Aquatic Center is in Commissioner Tobolsky's district. We're here today to talk about the implementation of new reform measures and policies targeted to, to prevent the kind of behavior uncovered by the Office of the Inspector General last summer at the Cermak Family Aquatic Center. For my first day in office, I've made a pledge to hold my administration accountable to four key principles. Fiscal responsibility, innovative leadership, transparency and accountability, and improved services. Arnold Randall shares my commitment, and the reforms he has implemented reflect this. Across the county, we are focusing on performance management and putting in place policies that demand accountability. Arnold Randall is leading this effort in the Forest Preserve District, an area of county government that has, has historically been overlooked. These measures reflect our commitment to a new standard of oversight and accountability. Among the changes that are being made at the pools are new cash management practices and a new credit card system, additional security cameras, wireless access for management to supervise swimming pool activity, a new employee training program that includes ethics training. Disciplinary measures have been taken against all personnel from CERMAC pool, including terminations of every employee directly involved, terminations of those supervisors who were accountable for allowing the abuses to occur, suspensions of other staff, including department heads and senior staff, who failed to responsibly execute their duties in a manner that would have prevented some of these abuses. The Forest Preserve District is also changing its human resource and management policies. There will be new job posting procedures and a random selection of interviewees. Hiring pool of employees earlier than before to ensure thorough and adequate training a higher level of direct supervision of pool personnel, increased number of lifeguards to decrease overtime costs. With that, I would like to give Arnold Randall an opportunity to speak about these measures in more detail. On Friday, March 25th, the Independent Inspector General Patrick Blanchard publicly issued his final report regarding malfeasance on the park, part of Forest Preserve District of Cook County Aquatic Center employees. It occurred last summer at the Cermak Family Aquatic Center in Lyons, Illinois. The report included details regarding behavior that was inappropriate, unacceptable, and in some cases criminal, and deeply unworthy of the public trust. The Inspector General's probe into this matter did not stop at the aquatic centers, but provided a roadmap through the failures on the part of supervisory personnel and man managerial staff that failed the public and our mission. As superintendent, I've begun to implement reforms in, in the policies that govern the district and specifically our aquatic center operations. Today I'm presenting these changes publicly to make it clear that business as usual is no longer being tolerated at the Forest Preserve District of Cook County. After reviewing the Inspector General's report, I believe there were three key areas that demanded immediate attention. First, there was a need for sweeping wholesale changes to, that were needed to be made at the aquatic centers themselves. To address the outdated and ineffective way in which aquatic center fees were collected, we're implementing new cash man management procedures at our pools. For years, the practices employed by the district have failed to utilize any measures to verify that money is being collected and safeguarded properly. To address this problem, we are in the process of revamping how our visitors' money is handled. We are implementing a point of sale system that will act in concert with a new camera surveillance system at all district pools. All the cash, collected act all the cash collection activities will be monitored by camera. We will be adding new cameras at CERMAC but also at Green Lake Family Aquatic Center and the Wayland Pool Aquatic Center on the north side. Supervisory staff and police personnel will also be able to access, the, access these cameras remotely. This will give the district an unprecedented capacity for proper supervision of pool staff. This also means that supervisors, both on and off site, will be held to a new level of accountability for their oversight responsibility. The public has just, a justified expectation that their money is being handled in a responsible manner and I will ensure that a process is implemented that lives up to these expectations. Second, it is clear that the immediate 
that in immediate disciplinary action was needed to be taken against employees whose failure to act contributed to this incident. We have terminated those who were directly involved or in the chain of command. We have disciplined those who are indirectly involved, including the superintendent of the Department of Permits and Recreation, whose responsibility it was to oversee the aquatic centers. We are also implementing mandatory ethics training for, our, for the employees of our aquatic centers. It will provide new and returning employees with the training and education about the district's policies and standards, as well as the expectations we have of, of them as representatives of the Forest Preserve District. Any violation of these policies res will result in immediate disciplinary action up to and including termination. Third, center-specific changes were needed in some human resource and management policies at the pools. We have already taken steps to improve the hiring process and management relative to the aquatic centers. We made the important move of posting jobs online. Once potential job candidates are objectively identified, they are randomly selected through a computer-based system. This part of the process is, all, is also objective and free of any political influence. We'll be also increasing the numbers of lifeguards at our pools. While overtime abuses noted in the IG's report included outright, outright timesheet fraud, our own investigation revealed that we needed more lifeguard personnel to function properly and effectively. We're also hiring aquatic center employees earlier than ever before to ensure that they receive the training that I, I referenced already. I certainly realize that before you can hold an employee accountable, you must provide them with the tools and training to do the job properly. Finally, as we revamp our policies and procedures, pool employees and facilities will be subject, subjected to random inspections throughout the summer. I will personally, and I say this again, I will personally be part of the team that spot checks these facilities to, to ensure that these, they are run properly and professionally and in a manner that is welcoming, safe, and fun for our patrons. I want to stress the, a point that I made earlier. Business will not be done at our aquatic centers as it was, has been done in the past. It was completely unacceptable. I expect that I will be held accountable by the president and by the public, and I will hold Forest Preserve employees accountable as well. Accordingly, we have adopt, adopted a zero tolerance policy for even the most basic level of malfeasance. I believe these are serious measures that send a clear message to those who would choose to act in this manner. They will find themselves disciplined, fired, and when appropriate, forwarded to the Cook County State's Attorney for prosecution. The Forest Preserve District is in the midst of a significant cultural change, and I appreciate the support I've received from the President's Office and from the Office of the Inspector General. The residents of Cook County demand accountability, and rightfully so. That is why President Preckwinkle is here, and frankly, that's why I'm here. Thank you.